Another key issue that could be discussed between President Yoon and Prime Minister Kishida would be related to Korean victims of Japan's wartime forced labor. With the talks just coming up, there is a growing voice in Japan by a civic group urging Tokyo's sincere apology. Our foreign affairs correspondent Pei Eunji has more on the experts' take. Prime Minister Kishida himself needs to apologize for Japan's colonial rule and apologize to the victims of wartime forced labor. This is a statement released by a Japanese civic group on Thursday, urging Prime Minister Kishida to make a sincere apology while visiting Seoul for a summit with President Yoon suk yeol this week. There has been some hope in South Korea that Japan would finally make the long-awaited apology at this week's summit, but unfortunately, an expert says it'll be no different this time. He said it's unlikely that Prime Minister Kishida will continue to refrain from using the word apology, but he expressed hope that relations can improve in the long run. It's unlikely that Japan will directly apologize for now and in the near future as well. But it's not like this is impossible in the long run, when bilateral relations improve and Japan is able to trust South Korea. Earlier this year, seeking to improve ties with Japan, the South Korean government laid out plans to solve the long-standing dispute over compensation for the people subjected by Japan to forced labor. But the victims and supporting civic groups protested, saying this issue cannot be resolved without sincere apologies and participation by the Japanese companies that are responsible. Later in March, Yoon and Kishida met in Tokyo, but the summit ended without a direct apology from the Japanese government. Instead of using the word apology, Prime Minister Kishida said he will, quote, uphold the stance on historical recognition made by previous cabinets, including the joint declaration between the two countries' former leaders, made in 1998. The joint statement in 1998 between former South Korean President Kim Dae-jung and former Japanese Prime Minister Keizo Obuchi includes Tokyo's deep remorse and heartfelt apology for causing tremendous damage and suffering to Koreans during its colonial rule. Pen Arirang News.